Hi, this is Jody King Colgrove with Quantum Techniques. I wanted to share with you today a real interesting way sometimes you can use quantum techniques. Um, we had a scare in our family. I was on a QT call after I had gotten my son home from school one day. And I, after being on the call about 40 minutes, I walked into our kitchen and discovered that our back door to our house going to the carport was completely open. And I immediately felt, oh, where's the dog? <laughs> and she was a puppy and uh, we had just moved to this particular location. And I was desperately afraid that I was never gonna have my puppy again. So, um, tried to kind of like take a deep breath as much as I could and um, called my son and we said, okay, we need to go find the dog. And so, you know, we did a little bit of prayer. We said, you know, Lord, please help us find us. And then I said, okay, I asked through using muscle testing, which direction do we start searching? Do we start searching right or do we searching left? Okay. So we, um, I got that we should go, you know, right. So we um, looked around and things like that. We got in the car, opened the windows, started calling her name. And so I went down to the block and I said, okay, should I turn right or go straight? And I said, and I got to go right. All right. So I turned right and um, we went literally passed a house and sure enough she was in our back alley uh, sniffing around and so I was internally grateful to quantum techniques to be able to muscle test to find out which direction and where I could go to find her and so it's just a different way to use quantum techniques um, I have even tried to use it for you know finding objects or um, people have also used it for if there's a block and a line, like uh, for plumbing, you know, if there's a, a plumbing issue, you know, where is it a block or just obstruction in the line? Um, with quantum techniques, it's easy to test kind of a live person, because, like a dog, where are they in a location? Um, but sometimes a little bit harder to test like an object, like if you lose uh, like a bracelet, you know, because that doesn't have an energy of, of life in it. But you can also test yourself to find out when was the last time somebody's energy, where, where the location was when, they, when that was off them. Uh, that's a little harder of a question, but um, sometimes that helps get to the answer. So I just wanted to share with you kind of how quantum techniques can be used in many different ways, not only for our health, but for finding lost dogs and knowing where to search. Um, so that's just really helped me in my life. I got a little puppy back and I was very happy <laughs> and thank God for that. <laughs> so anyway, um, have a blessed day. You can visit our website at quantumtechniques.com and um, learn lots more about how energy medicine can help you live your best in life now. All right. Blessings.